The National Research Council is the Government of Canada's premier organization for research and development. Each year, NRC researchers make a significant contribution to Canada's scientific record of research, producing thousands of conference papers, articles, books, book chapters, presentations, and technical reports. NRC is part of a growing number of universities, colleges, agencies, and other research organizations that have recognized the value of sharing their research output with the world by creating searchable online repositories that can be accessed by all. To support this philosophy, NRC established a policy requiring NRC researchers to deposit copies of their peer-reviewed publications and technical reports into the NRC Publications Archive. The NRC Publications Archive also contains records for patents, presentations, and other grey literature. Today, the NRC Publications Archive is a publicly accessible single gateway to NRC's record of research, holding more than 45,000 citations and providing access to more than 12,500 full-text articles and counting. Well, I think it's really important to have a central repository where all the work done by NRC researchers is organized and collected. There is a real niche for tech reports, things that people out inside the field, narrow specialists, really want to you, you know about your work that isn't publishable. Peer-reviewed publications, yes, and there's a good reason to have them in there, but not only that, it's also stuff that isn't publication material, but is useful. For instance, presentations and technical reports. I myself have two or three technical reports I've done with members of our team. While the management and maintenance of the NRC Publications Archive rests with NRC's Knowledge Management Branch, the success of this repository is a group effort involving researchers, managers, submission administrators for each NRC portfolio, submitters, analysts, and IT and help desk staff. The Crown copyright, which pub some publishers have a difficulty with, uh, the, again, the, the archives team handles that, and it's great that they do. You know it's going to be there basically forever. With publishers can go bankrupt, conferences disappear, university departments are closed down, links go dead. But with the NRC archive, you know it's going to be there permanently, and that's very important. In addition to showcasing NRC's significant research contributions, the NRC Publications Archive guarantees long-term access to this research so that it can serve as a valuable resource for NRC researchers, collaborators, and the public. This means people other than journal subscribers can access NRC-affiliated articles, which enhances the potential value and impact of the research. People other than conference attendees or association members can access conference papers and presentations. Accessibility is also enhanced through an intuitive search interface that allows users to browse by author. Or use the advanced search feature to search by different values, such as NRC affiliation, publication type, and peer-reviewed content. The NRC Publications Archive increases the visibility of researchers' output exponentially, not just by making it publicly accessible, but also because all the repository's content, not just articles, are crawled by other search engines, such as Google Scholar. In fact, some research work would not have exposure in Google Scholar and other search engines if not for the NRC Publications Archive metadata. If visits, views, and usage of the NRC Publications Archive are a measure of success, then these numbers are proof of the repository's positive impact. It's something that is available to every researcher and every group of researchers at the NRC, and it is a great resource. Come have a look, or get in touch with the NRC Publications Archive team.